Hello again, YouTube. This is Truth Blaster, blasting you with the truth. Today, I want to talk about marriage. And I want to introduce something new. And I want to talk about wise ways of handling marriage. And I want to drop a couple nuggets on you. Number one, if you think, as a man, if you think that the Most High is happy with you backing down and letting your wife run your marriage instead of being the man, doing what men do, I want you to know that you are wrong. That's false. And anybody who thinks not, any questions, any comments, put them in the put them on this video in the comment section. Number one, the reason why sin was able to come in the world in the first place is because Adam backed down. Adam should have challenged everybody involved, including Eve, and stood on what the Most High said. Now, the Most High said to us, he said, that wives be submissive to your own husbands and to respect them. And he told us to dwell with them according to the weaker vessel. So, I'm going to give you some tips that I found out that work. Some mistakes is based on some mistakes that I made myself in the past. Yes, I'm still married. But I'm going to tell you how you have a good marriage or no marriage. This is how you can figure out if it's going to be better or if you ain't going to have one. And don't don't become a whoremonger either. Like, if you if your marriage fails, just make sure you don't commit adultery. Make sure you don't cheat. Because if you start cheating, that goes against the scripture. That's beta malice too. You put her in her place and you make sure you put yourself in your place. Don't be arguing in front of them kids, scaring the kids and stuff. You're a man. She shouldn't be able to beat you up anyway. I know my wife came with me. I know that for a fact. But I wouldn't fight my wife. I wouldn't even hit my wife. And me and my wife had discussion long ago many times that that little physical fighting that's just grounds for divorce i would never physically fight my wife i'll just leave her alone but you be the man don't be living off these women that's that's how she gonna get power and control you get your own bag you get your own act together you know, if she worked and she said, well, I like my job. I'm, okay, well, let's do it like this then. You work. And when I get up, and, I, and I'm talking to you guys who ain't doing good or who ain't working. When I get up, then I'm going to pay all the bills and we'll just save your money. Half into a joint account, half, you know, into like a... a whatever she want to do with it because it's her money and do it like that it's time to stop running off if you but some some people you got to remove yourself because you ain't gonna win the argument the argument will never stop but that argument man is pointless we are men we the men of our houses forget this united states stuff about equality and all that you know in your mind you should treat her good. But if she's bad with money, if she's flirtatious, if she has negative qualities, then that's when you have to step in as a man and try to correct that and make sure that it's not you. When you start correcting, you got to make sure it's not you. So we're going to call it double M, double L, married men living life we're going to call it married men living life no more bagging down you know no more pointless arguments though you state your case you tell them look I'm the man of this house this is what we going to do
you know. But make sure you're right. Make sure her way ain't better. Because if she's... If, if, if she got you beat with wisdom and knowledge, then you need to build that up. You need to stop watching all them sports and build that up. Because there's too many guys that, you know, y'all think MG Toe is the ass. He running away. I mean, for some people it is. And I would never bash MG Toe because I already know what time it is. Like, I've been dissed a couple times. I've been... Like, people ain't been appreciating my good. And, you know, just the different things that lead people to go that route. But we married men. We're trying to keep our households together. We're trying to be in there with our kids, yet being a man. See, some of y'all wives might leave. Well, just don't let her, don't cause her to leave from you having sex with other women. Or from you getting physically violent. If she just can't take the new you then she leave just get another one and uh you know let her know hey i want a prenuptial agreement we're gonna do it like this we're gonna do it like this you know you're not gonna take me to the cleaners if we'll we can't get along and and you who married if this fails for you then don't let 